I am in Yella, where quite remarkably 10 land-owning families rallied to create a conservation easement, which essentially relinquishes their rights in perpetuity to change it. So what can you tell us about the Yella Preserve? The family that owns the, the place, once they become aware of the, the species, the, the very valuable species they have here, they are now in more of conserving it, try to preserve it. Once off the boat, I spy an odd tree. What are those? These are not from uh, the terminally uh, Carolinensis, the car tree. And, uh, you know, there are lots of them on the crown when it comes uh, down. And then... Is that the seedling? Yeah. Terminalia Carolinensis. The yellow forest is home to the magnificent car trees. I am told that the lower forest is not original growth, as many of the trees were felled during the Japanese occupation. Still, the landowners are adamant about saving Yella. Okay, spread your arms open. That's just one side of the tree, right? This is a small tree. Yellow side, Pratchett side is uh, still in, in its uh, natural condition. Uh, you know, we're really trying to uh, maintain that uh, natural uh, condition. For years, I had heard of the tall trees with buttresses at their base. But to see them now in person is a soul-expanding experience. I am interested to know how the tree is cut and used. Yeah. yeah. And so when you make a canoe, this is the side of the canoe. Nope. They use the actually the trunk. So they, they, they carve it out. Yeah. Yeah. What do they use the these buttresses for? They can use it for uh woods for uh fires or something like that. Or carving uh turtles, sharks, stingrays. Before long, everywhere I look there is a caw tree. Had I not been with my friends, I could have easily gotten lost in this primordial cathedral. So Jacob demonstrates how the natives use the ka tree as a drum to signal position should they find themselves lost. They have a lot of, they have over, over seven species of mangrove. But Yella's just not about the ka tree. How old are these trees? Uh, I think it's uh, two years. Two years already? The families of Yella are cultivating the seven species of mangrove trees. Still, you know, now uh, the marine, uh, near shore marine, is still uh, a good fishing spot for the Tamsa community uh, because uh, this place hasn't been developed. Uh, the trees and all the, you know, the car trees with the large pod raises, uh, they're really holding back the most of the sediments from that are naturally uh, uh, driven downstream uh, all the way to the uh, marine, near, near shore marine. The Yella Conservation Easement is an example of how families and communities can lie truly at the core of conservation, how families themselves can form a bridge between healthy ridges and healthy reefs. www.micronesiachallenge.org where you can learn more about the people you just met as well as the efforts of preserving the thousands of species of fish, plants, and wildlife in Micronesia. There are downloadable teaching modules for schools as well as an online video storytelling academy by Dan Ho.
And of course, we look forward to your support of the Micronesia Challenge. Thank you.